So I've been struggling with a little bit of a noise problem, which I think has been due to ethernet cable, and I've been researching using toroid cores or ferrites to be able to choke down some of that noise, RF uh, noise suppression. So I've got here a clamp type, and I've also got a ring type. Here's I've tested them using a nano VNA to see just how much suppression I can get. My problem is at two meters. Uh, but also it can also be a problem at other frequencies as well, especially HF. Now, as part of my research, I discovered that a few threads and some people were talking about when you put a toroid core over an ethernet cable that it can reduce the speed, the throughput, or even drop the connection down to a lower speed entirely. So what we're gonna do is I wanted to test this. I thought it was intriguing. So I've got some Cat5 cable here. This is a 30 meter roll, unshielded twisted pair, not shielded at all. I'm going to connect this between my PC and I'm going to do some speed tests between that and another PC that I've got here on the network. We're gonna put some cores over the end, see how it goes, and then we might just load it up with ferrite cores and just see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a control test. I'm going to use my ethernet cable with no toroids on it whatsoever, and I'm gonna plug it into my switch in here, and this will be our control for our speed. Okay, so we've connected at a gig here, uh, just using the standard cable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run an iPerf test using iPerf 3. So we're gonna start the server here on a machine that I've got on my network, which is to plug directly into the switch. So it's just over there. So it's gonna listen on that port there now. So what we could do is we can do an iPerf 3 from this Windows machine, and it's gonna be a client, and the client is there okay so now we're running a speed test so we've got i've got a gigabit network here uh transferring at 100 uh or 900 megabits per second about 100 megabytes per second so it transferred a gig there in that short space of time so that is a good um baseline so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this up here so that's our that's our baseline and we're going to um, put that there I'll just minimize that window. And what we'll do is we'll start a new window and this is going to be our test at, uh, or our next test with some toroids on. So the first test is I'm gonna use these 13 mil Mix 43 toroids, which I featured in the last video on the Nano VNA when I tested them. I'm just gonna do a one pass, uh, uh, sorry, two turns through this toroid and plug this. This is gonna be the switch end and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna add extra ones later on to see what the effects are. So we'll plug this back in and let's do another speed test. And we're still connected at a gig, which is good. Now let's do a test. So we're looking at this window down here. This is our baseline. Let's start that off. And just transferring through there. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot of change, which is good. Transferred 1.06 gig, it's actually transferred more, so probably slightly quicker. So one toroid doesn't make a difference. Let's put a second one on. So now I've got two toroids and I've got two turns per toroid. Again, this is at the switch end. I've got one more of these, which I'm going to put at the PC end after this next test. So we'll do two first at the switch end and then we'll add a third one, but this time at the other end of the cable. And we kick that off, transferring. Again, we're still at 900 megabits per second, transferring over 100 megabytes per second. And again, that's transferred even more. Maybe adding toroids actually speeds up the uh, <laughs> speeds up the transfers. Okay, so that's two. So I mentioned before that I was going to put another toroid, but this time at the PC end. So I'm going to do that again. Two turns through and plug that into the PC and see if that makes a difference. So back connected again, some people noticed that they would add toroids and it would drop from a gigabit per second down to like 100 or even 10 meg, but I haven't noticed that yet. It's still connecting at a gig. So we've got three toroids now total, two clamp types at the switch end and one clamp type at the PC end. So we'll go and do another iPerf test and we're still hovering at 900 megabits per second. I'm not seeing any sort of substantial drop 
there at all and transferred 1.03 gigabytes. So pretty uh, pretty conclusive there that we've added those toroids on and it hasn't really made any much of a difference at all. So maybe it's something to do with the mix. Maybe these toroids are fine. So the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try the ring type. And I've got a mix 43 here, but I'm gonna try mix 31 just to change things up. Cause I know that these toroids here, these are mix 43. I'm gonna try a mix 31, see if it makes a difference. Now it's not in any way, shape or form neat, but I've got a few turns going through there. I think three, three turns on each side and I've got my extra clamps here too. So we'll go and plug that in. This is the switch end. So we'll plug that in and see um, if we get any sort of different results. Okay, so we're still connected at a gig, this time with our ring toroid in there. Let's do a test. And we're still getting 900 megabits per second. So we're finding it hard here to try and get this to be any slower. So I think the next thing that I need to do is I need to literally load this cable up with as many toroids as possible. I'm going to go through and find as many as I can. I've got some which will fit over the cable, some that won't fit over the cable. Let's put as many as we can. We're going to put some at the switch end, some at the PC end, and just see what happens. So this is all the beads that I could find. I found another clamp type here. This is the switch end. I've got all of these single beads putting a single pass through because I can't get any more than that through with that cable. There's a 13 mil clamp on type. I've got the Mix 31, I think that one is, ring type. And then at the PC end, I've got the Mix 43 just loosely through there. I've got the Mix 43 clamp. I've got another random one here. I've also got all of the rings as well. And then I've got another uh, Mix 43 13 mil clamp similar to this one too. So if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. And what I've done at the switch end is I've just... Uh, put the first toroid as close as I can to the actual port and then I've put the 13 mil one here so that they're all sort of piling out here um, pretty close and then the ring one's just a little bit further down. All right, we're plugged in, good to go. We're still at one gig. Let's run our final speed test and it's still 900 megabits per second. So I've loaded that up with toroids and... 1.09 gigs transferred in 10 seconds. It it doesn't seem to have dropped the speed at all. Now I gotta undo all of these ferrite beads. Actually, just thinking about it, it's probably more likely that the issue is to do with bad Cat5 cable or Cat6 cable. I didn't I haven't tried this with Cat6, this is just a Cat5 cable. But it's probably more than likely that the issues that are causing dropouts, causing low speed, have to do with the cable that's being used. So this is like a brand new cable straight out of the packet that I had, 30 meter cable. Um, it's a high quality cable as well. So I think that that's probably more than likely what the problem is. So in my tests, I can't make it drop the speed. I can't make the connection speed drop. So let me know in the comments below what you think if you've ever experienced this. Maybe it's something to do with the switch that I've got, maybe the PC that I've got. If you want to see some of the tests that I've been doing with the toroids and noise suppression, how effective they actually are at reducing the amount of RFI that you get out from your household devices, then I did a video using the Nano VNA to measure them over here.